Ever since its release in November 2019, Planet Zoo has been the go-to park builder game for a lot of people and has established its own cult following. Within this cult following, one of the main discussion points is centred around theorising and predicting the future DLCs for the game and using both established patterns, informed guesses, and, more recently, data mines and internal leaks to know as much as possible about upcoming DLCs and updates before they appear. Even though it has only been a relatively short year and a half, the strategies that people have used have drastically changed throughout. Now, with a new DLC on the horizon, and the existence of a game-changing leak that is entirely dependent on this DLC's contents, it could all be about to change. Therefore, now is a better time than ever to document the history of Planet Zoo pack predictions. As more information was revealed leading up to the release of Planet Zoo, talks began to happen about what the first DLC for the game would be. As there were seemingly a lot of holes in the game's lineup at that point, and no reference to go off except for Frontier's previous game, Jurassic World Evolution, all there was to do was wait. When the beta was released, the main consensus was that the DLC would be focused on either the Arctic or the Antarctic, as there had been signs for the polar bear and emperor penguin data mined from the beta. Other guesses were South America or Australia, as they had both been heavily neglected in the game's lineup. After the game had been out for a couple of weeks, a SteamDB Unknown App file was found listed on the Steam database. Players from Jurassic World Evolution knew that this meant a DLC was being worked on, but there was still no evidence for when or what. The only other information was from an April 4chan post that leaked a 5 year roadmap for Frontier Developments, which had already been proven legitimate. It stated that the first Planet Zoo DLC was planned to release in December. Despite the credibility that it had with its information, it was mostly inaccurate with dates. For example, it stated that Planet Zoo would release in October as opposed to its actual release in November, and it stated that the Claire's Sanctuary DLC for Jurassic World Evolution would release in July instead of its actual release in June. Due to this, and due to a large portion of the community at the time not knowing of the leak, there were still theories for a release date as late as February. As players went through the campaign missions for the game, they noticed a major plot point centred around the character Bernard Goodwin going on a mysterious Arctic holiday, which was used as evidence for the DLC being Arctic themed, with a holiday release by extension. The most theorised animals for the DLC at that time were the Emperor Penguin, Polar Bear, Arctic Fox, Reindeer, and Moose. The update announcement was posted on the 11th of December, with Arctic-themed screenshots and information about the Aurora Borealis coming to the Tundra biome. The next day, Planet Zoo tweeted an image of a reindeer's antlers hidden behind ice rocks, hinting at the DLC. Later that day, the animal roster was officially revealed in a DLC announcement post. The Arctic pack released alongside Update 1.1 on the 17th of December. Following the Arctic pack in December, two main DLC ideas took the stage, South America and Australia. There were no DLC ideas as prominent at the time, except for the occasional North America, Europe or Africa suggestion. The prominence of South America and Australia was due to them being very underrepresented continents at launch, and, due to the polar bear files being found in the game before the Arctic pack, it was thought that some animals were purposefully omitted from launch to be added in future DLCs. Between South America and Australia, more people believed that South America would be next as a result of it being spring at the theorised release date, and the existence of a jaguar skin pattern sign in the game. On the 30th of January, a new, unknown app was spotted in the Steam DB. People immediately compared it to the Arctic pack, and concluded that it would likely be announced on a Tuesday, with a one month gap between the DLC's addition to the Steam DB and its release. This put the theorised announcement on either the 25th of February or the 3rd of March. 
As the 3rd of March came and went, there was no new information posted, leading to further speculation. This was the case until the 26th of March, when Planet Zoo broke their silence and released the 1.2 update announcement. Within a screenshot intended to showcase the new glass items, they accidentally had new bamboo building items viewable in the background, which was obvious evidence for a South America pack. At this point, the most sought-after animals were Jaguar, Ocelot, Maned Wolf, Anteater, Capybara, and Llama. On the 28th of March, Planet Zoo posted the first in a series of daily Choose Your Own Adventure tweets surrounding the exploration of an abandoned Mayan temple. Throughout that time period, the accompanying images showcased new South American plants and a Mayan temple build set. The animal roster was officially revealed in a DLC announcement post on the 31st of March, and the South America pack released alongside Update 1.2 on the 7th of April. As the two main theories for the previous DLC were South America or Australia, naturally the next pack was assumed to be Australia. There were still some suggestions for North America or Africa, but Australia was the general consensus. As what was increasingly becoming the norm, the SteamDB unknown app showed up on the 12th of June. Uniquely, however, a second unknown app showed up on the 29th of July, which led to many different theories. Ideas ranged between anything from a skin pack, a bundle, or an early listing for a large holiday DLC. Evidence against the theory of an early listing was discovered shortly after, however. It was found that the first two digits of the numbers corresponding to unknown apps had all previously been referring to the version of the game that they released alongside. For example, the Arctic pack was listed as a SteamDB unknown app followed by a string of numbers that began with 1, 1. This was used as evidence for the rumoured Australia pack and the second unknown DLC releasing within version 1.3 of the game, making it very unlikely to be a larger DLC. On the 6th of August, Planet Zoo released a post that showcased colour variation. This didn't have anything to directly hint at the upcoming DLC, but it further cemented the idea of the Australia pack for some people, as a result of the dingo being a relatively easy addition to the pack, especially to showcase colour variation. On the 18th of August, a user noticed that Shantae, the game's lead community manager at the time, was hovering on the news and announcements page. In theory, this meant that they were typing the update announcement out. Sure enough, Shantae posted the update announcement shortly after, proving that theory's legitimacy. It showed multiple new types of Australian plants in the screenshots, confirming the DLC's theme. On the 20th of August, the Australia pack announcement was posted. On the 24th, just a day before release, a Twitch streamer had an Australia pack livestream, which showed the Zoopedia for all of the included animals, alongside various animations for the kangaroo and koala, before it was shut down. The 1.3 update released alongside the Australia pack on the 25th of August. Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Gonna After the Australia mountain. pack, there weren't any majorly accepted pack ideas for a while. A the most common ones were Africa or North America, however neither were really thought to be the second unknown app from July. This was in part due to the evidence found regarding the first two numbers in its name. On the 17th of September, the leftover DLC was added to Steam as a separately purchasable Planet Zoo soundtrack, which disappointed the people that had been watching its Steam DB. It also caught some flack for it being included in the deluxe edition already, which was the same price as the separate soundtrack, and for it being freely available on multiple different streaming sites, making its existence seemingly worthless. On the 30th of August, multiple references to deep swim behaviours were data mined from the newly updated files, as well as original and large sized exhibits. Due to the existence of deep swim, it was almost immediately assumed that the next pack would directly tie in with this feature. 
The main ideas for a pack from then on were aquarium or marine, with animals such as cetaceans, penguins and seals using the deep swim behaviour, and fish using the modified exhibit sizes. Some people believed the next pack to be North America, however. The unknown app showed up on the 10th of November with a unique first two numbers, confirming that it corresponded to the next major DLC. On the 19th of November, Frontier released a video on their YouTube channel that accidentally showed four new animals within the files, which were the King Penguin, Grey Seal, Giant Otter, and Sun Bear. From then on, the timeline was considered to be an aquatic pack in Holiday 2020, followed by an Asia pack in early 2021. In the video, the files were sorted alphabetically, with a section between A and G that wasn't viewable. This meant that the fourth animal in the aquatic pack was likely to be sorted in between A and G alphabetically, leading most people to expect a California sea lion. On the 30th of November, Planet Zoo posted the 1.4 update announcement, which showed the first instance of an animal using Deep Swim, making the DLC announcement only a day or two away. On the 1st of December, the DLC was officially announced, which confirmed its animal roster to include the Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman instead of the highly suspected California Sea Lion. The aquatic pack released alongside Update 1.4 on the 8th of December. After the King Penguin, Grey Seal, and Giant Otter were released, the only remaining animal from Frontier's video was the Sun Bear. Because of this, the next DLC was very likely to be themed around Asia. Specific theories were centred around the usual pack structure with the Southeast Asia build set. The most theorised animals to be added, excluding the Sun Bear, were Gibbon, Clouded Leopard, Binturong, Tree Kangaroo, and Shavalsky's Wild Horse. It was uploaded to the Steam DB on the 2nd of March, which lined up with the theorised release time of early to mid-April. This was based off of the four-month gap that DLCs had between one another. The post showcasing billboards was released on the 11th of March, with images of them being used in an Asian zoo. On the 16th of March, they posted the 1.5 update announcement, showing even more Asian architecture, but with no new information regarding the DLC being revealed. On the 18th of March, the DLC was officially announced as a Southeast Asian Animal Pack, which was the first of its kind, including 8 animals and no new scenery items. Originally, it was liked for being a new concept and having more animals than what was previously seen. As time went on, however, it became very divisive within the community. The main reasons against the idea were that scenery items are as important to some players as animals are to others, and that most animals in the DLC were seen as clones, which are generally not unique, bland, or filler animals. The Southeast Asia Animal Pack released with update 1.5 on the 30th of March. All animals from the Frontier video were now released, meaning that the pack theories reverted back to the same continents as before the aquatic pack, which were Africa and North America. Even though there was no real evidence for either, more people suspected Africa first as a result of the likely release being within summer. On the 16th of April, a modder was browsing the newly updated files in a livestream when they stumbled across tags for a North Africa build set. Looking further, they found tags for the White Rhino, Meerkat, Fennec Fox, and African Penguin. This was obviously seen as hard evidence for the next pack being Africa, and the information spread throughout the community like wildfire. As there were four animals found alongside a scenery set, it was obvious that they were reverting back to the original DLC structure. SteamDB first showed the unknown app on the 24th of May, but it was removed on the 9th of June, as the website released a patch that made unreleased DLCs no longer viewable. Due to the early listing on the Steam DB, and the Southeast Asia pack releasing in March instead of the original theories of April, it was thought that there would be a 3 month interval between DLCs instead of the previous 4 month intervals. That put the expected release of the Africa pack in late June. On the 14th of June, Planet Zoo released their 1.6 update announcement, which confirmed the three-month gap. The 
didn't show any information regarding a DLC, but it made the announcement a day or two away. On the 16th of June, the Africa pack was officially announced, sporting a North Africa build set and all four datamined animals as the exact roster. 1.6 was released alongside the Africa pack on the 22nd of June. As of this video, the most recent pack to be announced was the Africa pack, meaning that the theorization between then and now has yet to be confirmed. With that in mind, there has been some interesting things that have taken place within this time frame, including a very influential leak. Before I get started with covering this section, I cannot reiterate enough that this is all nothing but speculation as of now, so take everything from this point onwards with a grain of salt. Following the Africa pack, the most prevailing theory for the next pack has been North America. There is a subset of this community that remains hopeful for a Europe pack, but the chances of that are generally seen as slim. Due to the last few DLCs having a 3 month gap between one another, the suspected release for this upcoming DLC is 3 months after Africa. That puts it sometime within late September, or a couple of weeks from now. As SteamDB listings are no longer viewable, it is unknown if the DLC is on track for that release or not. On the 6th of September, people were watching the community manager's forum activity in anticipation for them stopping on the news and announcements page as to write a forum post. This was noticed by a community manager in the Discord server, but they were mistaken and asked people to stop viewing their personal Discord activity. After it was pointed out to them that people were instead viewing their forum activity, the ability to do so was disabled. There has not yet been a feature focus for the DLC either, which means that, assuming this DLC follows the previous timeframes, the earliest it could release is on the 28th of this month. If that is the case, then a feature focus should be posted this coming Thursday. Aside from previous patterns, the only evidence for a DLC being on the way is the leak that was mentioned earlier. During the drought of news between the Africa pack and now, the most debated topic has been surrounding a leak from shortly after its release. As to respect the privacy of the leaker and other parties involved in case this is proven true, I will only cover what the leak states. According to the leak, the upcoming DLC will be North American themed, with certain assets at least partially based off of the San Diego Zoo and Safari Park, including things like a tram ride or food trucks. It also states that the official game has plans for support till December 2022, with DLCs releasing every three months. The Holiday 2021 DLC is said to be aviaries, including at least 10 birds with, quote, possibly more due to rate of progression. The current list of supposedly completed birds are all very unique from each other, with 9 in total. The main DLCs to be released in 2022 are said to likely be biome-focused animal packs, with the two specifically mentioned themes being temperate and desert. Each pack has a specified animal, with the Amor Leopard for temperate and the desert inclusion being not yet public. It also states things about other zoos and games, but they are not relevant unless the source is proven correct. As I said earlier, take all of that information with a grain of salt. Maybe by the time you're watching this it's already been proven or unproven, but as of this video it is all up in the air. If this is proven however, it will be the biggest Planet Zoo leak to possibly ever release and will change the future of the game forever. Well thank you all for watching that video, I know that it was a pretty long one, and I know that it wasn't like all of my usual videos, but I just thought that it would be a pretty unique idea that I wanted to get out before the next pack. I will probably go back to normal after this, um, just when I think of a funny idea I'll probably do it, but right now I just didn't have any funny ideas, so I thought I may as well just do this one. If you do have any ideas for videos like this, then be sure to put them in the comments because I probably won't use them, but at the very least, Leaf or Nick can steal them, because we all know that both of them need to upload videos more. 
But with that all done, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, guys. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Bye-bye.